got it sitting here idling. This thing is putting in 50 milliamps. That's a hundred milliamp bulb. 4.2 watts. That's at a hundred, almost 200 volts here. Uh, 2.3 milliamps. We've got this set. Oh, whatever, 5 volts. It's got 7 volts going into this. These are measuring what's going through the coils. 60 cycle, peak to peak. This just makes me still wonder more what is going on with the coils and these readings. Now I can bring this up. Come on. I'm still getting here and here 60 cycles. It, it reads 60 cycles all the time. And that's a little faster. I don't know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, here it is running. We got 1.9 milliamps, 825, almost 50 volts, 9 threes, uh, about 30 volts into that transformer. And Newman says keep the arcing down to a minimum, you'll get more kick out of it. That's uh, a little, these wires aren't perfect, they're bendy, and there's nothing coming off of that brush, but I've got it down to a minimum. Now, if you, this arm here is movable on this arm, this arm here picks up the angle of the wires. This arm here will decide where it starts picking it up. But if you turn one, you'll end up having to adjust that. So this may, there may be 50 kV flying through here, I don't know. I mean, it will arc. It's going to throw this thing all off. Oh, we're down to 1.79. 850 volt. Now if I move this thing, it's going to throw the timing off. It slows down. It's rumbling even more. It, it'll get worse than that. That might be about where it was at. 1.8, yeah, 850 volt. So if you start moving this, you end up with arcing, pulling two plus milliamps. Voltage is starting to jump around, 800 volts. 
So that's why the timing. Whoop, 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 whoop. <clears throat> I try to adjust this so I get maximum voltage. Now let's go off a bit. Yeah. 21, 42 hours of 324. Picking up where I left off. We'll take this off. Turn that. Turn this. Twenty-two volts going in to the transformer. Hundred watt bulb as a safety feature, you could call it. It's a current limiter. So I got this up to 50 volts, almost. It says 33. So I got 33 volts going in. It's pulling. Starting here, it's pulling 170 mil, milliamps, 17 watts. Where are we at? 750. The thing changes every time I shut it off and turn it on. The thing changes. 7850. So we're at 850 volts. Around 2 milliamps. Pulling 21 watts, 180 mil. 120 volt, 180 mil with, it says 34 volts out. Don't know what the current is. See, that's not exactly accurate. It should be 50 volts into that, which it could be, but due to the resistance of the coils and da da da. And I've got this bulb running on it too. It's probably around 20 watts, 15, 20 watts. But this is not pulling. I can't believe it would be 21,000 volts. That's a thousand to one probe on there. 23,000. Amplitude AC on it. This is 3.6 volts in. It could be 20k. I don't know. I just kind of doubt it. I don't know what the output is. Nothing there. It's usually on the 4k scale. 4 kilohertz is where the majority seems to be. And I've really got this thing kind of tuned. Uh, sparking, anything of that sort, it's a waste, according to Newman. He says the points shouldn't arc, so it's kind of kind of tuned. Got 30 MFD. There's our two 60 MFDs. One's a 440 volt. One's a 370 volt. There's 16. 16 MFD at 20,000 volt caps on here. Those are across the coils. The smoothing, I think I'm going to leave that as the max 16 nano. So I got the 30 here going coming off the power supply. 
That's my shorting resistor to drain the caps. One, it's a thousand ohm or a thousand, it's a thousand to one probe connected to one side of the coils. But I don't know how to interpret this. I mean, I've had, well, I'd say I've had the thing up to a thousand, a hundred thousand volts. I don't know. That's when the thing was arcing, it wasn't tuned, and dee dee dee. So this could just be peak. Could be 20,000 volts flying through the coils, 27, I don't know. Here's the, uh, this starts at 5 megahertz. So it's getting, see, this is where a lot of the power seems to be. Come on. This here, this here, this here. Now, if this is in thousands, there's 107 kV, minus 70 kV, but it's all in the upper end. So, if this could be 120, 30,000 volts, I don't know. I just don't know what to uh, make of this scope here. I mean here's a 5 volt scale. So this would be 10,000, 20,000 peaks, 27, 30,000 volt peaks. I don't know. This is a close-up of what's going on in the thing. Come on, come on. Try that, try this. So these scope readings, I don't know. So it's coming out of here, into this, through the bulb, into the transformer, or out of the transformer. This is what's coming out going into the coils being pulsed by these brushes one lay comes in goes through the coils this one here pops the coils ta 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 ta, ta. 20 coils 20 well 20 magnets 20 it's counterclockwise direction if you start backing it up it's going to fold those brushes back and if any of those, I've got them in a, a V type. If one catches under one of these things, it'll pull the thing right out. So that's what I've got there. I did add, just for grins, I got this three quarter inch mag right in the middle. I've got a point, this is east or south, this is north, these are all pointing, these are south. I was hoping maybe when it shuts off, or when it pops, it'll let go, maybe that would just add a little more to the coils. It's a little son of a gun, with all these big ones on there, that's a little son of a gun to get on there without attracting itself to the other ones. So there's an update. I don't think it makes much of a difference.